beautiful day out here. Lovey's out in the backyard today and we got one nice day. Yesterday was about 66. Uh, it's gonna be about 50 today, about noon, and then it's gonna get cold, 17. It's gonna really be a bad day, so got nothing really to do. So I thought I'd come out here a little bit. I got a couple of my metal detectors that I've got, and I thought I'd run a little testing on them. I'd show everybody what, what, how I run the problems I've got and how I try to deal with when I go out and try to find some stuff. I'm far from an expert, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do a little bit of uh, detecting here, a little practicing, show you a couple things, and just a little bit of difference so that sometimes you might want to dig something, sometimes you might not want to dig something. Depends on what your machine is. And so I'll get back to you in a little bit, and we'll get going on this uh, practicing. Okay, here's a couple of the detectors that we're going to use right now. Here's one. This is a, a White's, an XLT uh, Spectrum E-Series had this for a while um, it's a little higher tech machine than some of the ones but we're going to go ahead and work with this particular one show you how that one works and what it picks up and I'm going to compare it to the one I had a long time ago the Garrett the uh, Ace 250 the Ace 250 obviously not it's not going to give me uh, numerical readings but I'll show you how that thing works and we're going to do basically some testing today and um, I got a little test board set up here. Um, I'll show you what I got. I got a 59 penny. I got uh, sterling silver, Canadian. Buffalo nickel. Uh, silver quarter. I'm standing Liberty. I got a Ike uh, copper nickel dollar. Uh, silver Roosevelt. 64 Kennedy. Wheat penny, aluminum token, there's another Canadian, an 80 percenter, 14 karat gold ring, and a zinc, a 2010, I think, or something like that penny, along with a bunch of trash over here, some pop tops and uh, some other things, some nails and some screws. Well, so we're going to get going here in a little bit, and we'll see what we can come up with. Okay, we're going to get started here doing a little bit of detecting and I'll just show you what we got going here on this. This is uh, my pink penny. That one happens to be the gold ring. Penny happens to be a uh, wheat set. 64 Kennedy, 90% silver. Roosevelt dime, 90% silver. Eisenhower, copper nickel, dollar. Standard Liberty quarter, 90%er. Buffalo nickel. He's right on nickel. Sterling silver, Canadian, and a 59 copper penny. Okay, so that kind of gives you an idea what that is. We're going to look a little bit more at it. Over here, I got my pile of junk. You can hear and you can see. It reads a little bit lower. It's obviously, by itself, I wouldn't, I wouldn't pick this thing up. Now, I'm in the all-metal mode. I'm in the all metal mode because I want to do some testing and I, I want to see whether or not I can discriminate a little bit. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do a couple little checks here. I'm going to take, I'm going to take a couple of items here and a lot I'm going to do is I'm going to set them right down next to something. I'm going to go right in here next to a dime. I'm going to put that right next to the silver dime. I'm going to take, I'm going to set that one right next to my penny. And I'm going to see what happens. Of course, I listen to tones on here. 
but if I do some checking, uh, we heard what the silver dime was and how it read. Now if I'm looking over here, I'm jumping all over the place. I'm jumping back and forth. Not too bad, but I'm still, I don't have that solid hit. And that's because I have that, I'm masking. I've got something red trash right next to that dime. I'm going to go over here by the penny. Well, that one's not too bad. It still gives you that tone where you might want to dig it. But if I get off to the side a little bit, then what I'm doing is I'm picking up the trash. So you gotta be a little careful. Now, the other thing that I want to check on some of these things is, I got something here a little bit. What about the depth? So I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take this pop top, I'm going to set it on the gram, which is about an inch lower than that, and see what happens. Jumping around, see him jumping? I don't have a good signal at all. And that's because they got that trash in there. So, we're, we're, we've got a little bit of an issue with that trash. That's with this Garrett. Um, if I did the same thing here, I'll take and put this down below. I'll set that piece of trash up above it and see what we got. There's my jump. And I'm missing. I'm not going to get in. It's mass pretty good when it's a little bit below that. Really masking. That's on this Garrett right here. So when you run this Garrett, you've got to decide whether or not you're going to dig everything or not dig everything. And I would suggest that if you're in an area that's got a lot of trash, maybe you're not going to dig everything after a while. But if you got an area that doesn't have a lot of trash, I'd be digging all the city. You can get stuff masked pretty easy. Just by having a piece right next to it. Okay, we're gonna get set up. We're gonna show you a little bit about the XLT, see when that does a better job. Okay, I've got my XLT set up, and this thing's got a whole bunch of different programs in here. I just basically you run the stock programs, but as you can see, it's got coins, coin and jewelry, and you can come down. It'll run relics, prospecting, and you can run your cut. You can run custom programs. You can run your special programs, anything you want. So it'll do an awful lot. And then obviously, I got the volume set up right about in the middle. I don't need too much beyond that. Threshold where you pick something up. Uh, tone frequency 31. I got that on. Silent search, I got it off. Mix mode, off. Sensitivity is about 64. A lot of this stuff I never use. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, here it is, I'm gonna go back to the menu. And I'm going to go to Programs, Preset. I'm going to come down here and do Coins and Jewelry. I'm going to enter that and we're going to get going. We've got to raise it up. Balancing, ground balancing. Come down here. And away we go. So what we got here is we got, generically, we're going to run our zinc penny again. And it reads a penny of jump about 62, it's in the 60s. Okay, we're going to do 80% Canadian. Penny, 80. This is a 91. That's 
group in here. And then, of course, we'll look at some of my junk. Pop top. And then, of course, I'm going to show you the uh, 14 karat gold ring. Mid, uh, mid to upper 30s. So that's what we're going to look at when you run this thing. And it's a little bit nicer. The tones are about the same, but it'll yeah, give you a little better idea of what you got. And you got to remember what the, the settings are. Um, and that'll tell you what to dig or what not to dig. I know that quarters are up in the 80s and the high 70s would be copper pennies and so forth. Um, the uh, difference, this is a zinc penny, the newer ones are in the 50s, whereas the copper pennies are up in the high 70s. That's something to remember. Now we're going to do a little bit with the masking. So we're going to do about the same thing that we did before and see whether or not we can mask anything. I use basically the same kind of stuff. We'll start there. Okay. Okay, we're gonna go. This is so reading about 39, 60, 70, 80. Same thing over here with the half dollar. Put, put the chunk down below. junk up above. up above, put the dime right down below it. A lot of problems. That's still a lot of problems. So it doesn't appear to be a big difference as far as detecting goes between the two. The junk will mask stuff, it doesn't make any difference. You get a little better readout with the digital than you do with uh, the uh, Garrett, which is just, you know, blobs and something like that. But I'm thinking, the next thing we're gonna do is we'll check these things. I'm gonna bury some of these things in the ground a couple of inches and we'll see what they detect and see how they match up once they're in the ground with an air detector. Talk to you later, bye.